chapter two begins. I love this panning. It looks pretty cool. But this for those don't even look like trees. Until after the save thing goes down. There we go. There we go. Okay, there they are. in chapter 3.
disappears like completely it always freaks me out for some reason I don't know why as you notice now there's a door there because here's where Punio is Punio is you notice it goes widescreen as soon as we go there uh what's oh no what's the matter Oh, well, look! This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. Okay, that works for him. And I can't open it. I thought I'd finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh... Um... told me about a secret entrance around here, somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure of it. Um, problem is, I don't find it is going to be easy. It won't, I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? 
Not to be worried about, or, but how in the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. But, boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, I got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and unified lady who lives in these woods. The elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can blow the wind power, use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so let's head back in the direction we came from. But before we do that... Get a badge. Woohoo! Okay, we do have to go back though, so yeah. Cutscenes involving Mountain Fury. This is Flurry. This is gonna take a while. I'm not gonna talk talk for her because uh, I'm not gonna do any female voices. I'm sorry. There. We'll have to go, on, go in there later, though. are actually like two, you know, Yeah. <laughs> 